Hey guys, so I just got access to custom GPTs inside of ChatGPT, and I wanted to kind of play around with it and see what we can do. So let's go up here to explore, and you can see here we've got created GPT. That's where you can go in and create your own. We've got all these GPTs that have already been created by OpenAI for us. So we can create one by having a conversation with it and explaining what it is we want to make. And we can also go in and custom build one, configuring all the options. So it seems like creating it by conversation really just populates all these fields. So if you know exactly what you want, this is probably the quicker way to go about it. Um, it also adds a, lit, a little bit more functionality like adding actions, which allow you to actually connect it to an API um, and then go ahead and authenticate your API if you have an API key. Um, so a lot of interesting capabilities in here if you want to get really specific with it. But let's play around with creating it conversationally because, I mean, anyone can do that. You don't need to be very technical. So let's just say, what do we want it to do? So I'm trying to make a party planner. Let's see what it comes up with. It gives us the name recommendation Party Planner Pro. Um, that's fine. I don't have strong opinions on it. So it gave us this icon. I'm actually going to ask it to make it a bit simpler because that's kind of noisy. <laughs> so it went in extreme in the other direction. This is fine though. Let's use this. Okay, so now it's asking us how we want it to behave. And so I'm specifically interested in like kids' birthday parties and things like that. So let's kind of guide it in that direction. I told it that I wanted to help out with the logistics of party planning. Now it wants to know how I want it to respond, what sort of tone I should use. Um, I'm just gonna say casual and friendly. Okay, so now it says it's at a stage where we can test it out. So let's do that. Hmm. Okay, so it, it gave responses. I mean, they're all very kind of general and high level. Um, I'm going to get a bit more specific, though, and see how it responds. Cool, so I mean, that's pretty good. Again, it's not getting like super specific. It's kind of just generally outlining things. Let me see if I could get more specific information from that. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask it for any links or resources. Let's see what it provides. Okay, so let's check out some of these links. Um, so it's a bunch of 3D printable models. Okay, so this looks like this kind of thing could work, I think. And it's got the STL files for 3D printing. And let's see if it's got the details on the robotics. Cool, so yeah, it seems like it could work with like the mini Skybot. Well, I guess that kind of works, at least for my needs. Um, so then we can go ahead and save this. Go ahead and confirm that. And then we've got our Party Planner Pro. We can go ahead and use it just like any other GPT. It's listed here. And I guess at some point we'd be able to share this publicly, you know, and sell it uh, potentially to other people who are interested in it. Now, you can obviously take these further when you're creating these by adding data sources and other specific files, or um, as we mentioned, APIs. But this is just kind of an example of how you can create one easily by just kind of chatting with with the application as you're building it. Well, thanks for watching, guys.